Hi there. Welcome to end to end solution architect session. My name is Som and I will be talking about HCP Packer with Ansible. We know that when we need to install any tools, when we are building an image, we generally use provisioner in Packer template. But I will show you how we can use the configuration management tool, which is Ansible with Packer. So in this session, I will show you how we can use configuration management tool with Packer. So we do not need to write the installation script under the Packer provisioner. We can just simply use Ansible to do the installation responsibility. So let's proceed. If you are watching our HCP Packer series, you already know that this is our overall architecture design where we have the packer registry, where we have the images for multi-cloud. It is AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and vSphere. And we have image repository in respective private or uh, public cloud platforms. And the HCP packer, which shows all the images with iterations and release channels. And at the end, we have HashiCorp, Terraform cloud, which will actually pick the image from the image registry or the ACP packer registry, and it will provision in the target cloud platform. Now, if you are already following our ACP packer series, you know that we have completed building images of various cloud platforms, then ACP packer registry, I have explained, and now in this session, I will be talking about HCP Packer with Ansible. Now, before jumping into the hands-on session, let me quickly take you through this upcoming boot camps in summer. If anyone is interested to join online or in-person boot camp in Toronto, Canada, so there are a few five days or seven days classroom as well as online, basically hybrid mode bootcamp session where I will be talking about Microsoft Azure AWS data science with my other colleagues. There are a few open house as well for cloud architects for cloud certification preparation and focused training. If you are interested, you can scan this QR code and you will get the registration link. If you have any queries, please feel free to drop a note to contact us at e2esolutionarchitect.com. Now let's jump into the demo part of this session. Well, now the code I will be using, I will share the link in the description of this tutorial from our Git repository. I can take you to the Git repository before I start this demo. So here is our Git repository, which is github.com slash e2esolutionarchitect and you will find the repository name, which is HashiCorp Packer. With other uh, projects of Packer, you will find HCP Packer Terraform Azure Ansible. This is the directory, the code I will be using from this directory. So let me show you here. In this Azure Ansible directory, you will find few subdirectories as well. So one is Ansible, another Packer, another Script, and Terraform. Now. Before coming to the Packer, let me come to the Terraform. Terraform is that when the image is built, now we will pick up that image and deploy in any target cloud platform. But before that, Packer is the one which will create or build the image. Now, as I said, our purpose of using Ansible as configuration management tool is that we do not want to write our script tool installation script basically in Packer provisioner section. So what we will do that we will write a playbook in Ansible. Let me show you this playbook. So here you can see that it is a very simple playbook where I have just installed Nginx, only Nginx, nothing else. Just to show that how Ansible can be used with HCP Packer. Okay. Now again, going back to this project, parent directory and let's go to our packer part. So in packer, 
I am not going through the project structure over here because in our first session I have explained that how Packer project structure is and the best practices how it should be structured. Now in this session let me focus in two files basically. One is Azure Packer.hcl, another is Build Packer. Okay. So let me come to the Build Packer.hcl. Well, here we see that we have our ACP Packer registry configured. Secondly, we have this provisioners used for installing Ansible. Then we are calling the playbook of Ansible. And in the end, we are running a cleanup script. So I will show you every steps and every file where it is required. So first thing is that when we are creating our initial, when we are creating our base image or golden image, at that time we first need to install Ansible in that image. The reason is if we don't install Ansible, we cannot execute Ansible playbook. Okay, so that's why we are just installing Ansible at the beginning. Now once it is successfully installed, then we have the playbook which I just showed. It will be called and this provisioner will invoke this playbook and it will execute. So as a result, it will install Nginx. Now once the Nginx has been installed successfully, we don't need the Ansible anymore in the build image. So we will run a cleanup script where I have written the commands which will uninstall the Ansible. But in the image which we already installed the Nginx, it will remain in the image. Okay, so let me take you to the script part where I have created this cleanup script. So in the script subdirectory, you will find two script. One is for Ansible.sh, another is for cleanup.sh. Now let me open both Ansible and cleanup. Now as you see that in Ansible.sh or Ansible script file, I have just used the commands for installing Ansible. We are first installing apt and updating it and then installing the software properties common and then installing Ansible. As simple as that. Now let me go to cleanup script. Here in cleanup script, as you see, that uh, I'm just removing the Ansible. So focus on the approach that we can create an installation script and cleanup script. Whatever the installation temporarily you require, you can run a provisioner to install that prerequisites as in our case it is Ansible. Then when we executed our Ansible playbook, we don't need Ansible anymore in our image. Okay, so we have just removed Ansible from the image. But in our image, we have our Nginx installed. Now I will run this project and show you how it works. So I am logged into my Azure portal over here. And let me go to my code editor. And this is the same code in my uh, local system. So I will run it simply. So I am directly running it. It is packer build passing the variable file and dot. It has started executing. We see that a deployment name has been created. So let's go to our Azure platform here. Let's go to virtual machines. And we see that there is one virtual machine is being created. It will take few minutes. Meanwhile, let me take you to the HCP Packer registry. As you know that Packer registry is for storing the metadata, not the actual image. So the actual image which we are building, it will be stored in Azure platform only, but the metadata will be in Packer registry. So here we have the Packer registry. I have explained how to create the Packer registry and what is the purpose, how to manage it. But at this uh, session, I am not going in those details again, just going to this uh, image bucket. And we see that the status is running because it has kicked off a new image creation. So if I just go back one step, it will show that uh, the latest iteration is incomplete because the status is running. So let's go back to our code once again. You see that the Ansible installation kicked off. It is unpacking Ansible 7.7.0. .7 
Now you see that it started the playbook tasks. The playbook task was installed nginx and it has completed. And it's showing now this uh, removing Ansible. So our cleaning a script is working now. It has successfully cleaned. So our image building part has been done. And you see that it is showing powering off machine. Powering off machine means uh, the VM it created in our Azure virtual machine. This one, it was earlier, it was showing created. So if I refresh, it's still showing running. Now in a minute, it will show deallocated or terminating. And here it shows that our image is ready. It is capturing image. Resource name is packer hyphen demo. And the image name is going to be az packer hyphen the timestamp basically for the image location east us. Now it is pushing to shared image gallery because I am using shared image gallery in Azure. Here is our uh, shared image gallery destination configuration. Let's go to Azure portal once more and let's see whether it is deallocated already. Okay, you see that it has stopped and deallocated. And uh, let's go to Packer registry. And uh, I'm just refreshing it. Let's see. The Packer registry is still running. So it will take a few more minutes. Let's go to the console. And you see that we have one shared image gallery done by the name of Packer is created. Now it will show you the various definitions. We have this definition created. Let's go inside this definition and these are the versions under the definitions now we should have our latest version also you see this this is our latest version published date is today which is 24th june target regions are us east and west also and it has re the replication status completed so it will take few more minutes i guess it is almost done we see and now we see that the image build has been successfully completed and the image name is also created. So let's go to our Azure first. So here we see that this is our version under Azure Compute Gallery. Okay. And this is our 2023 the latest version over here. And this is, un this is the version under the shared image gallery definition. Now, let me take you to the image. And here you see, this is the image basically. So the same timestamp, 2023-06-24-13-10-33. So this is the image, which is the actual image. Okay, now let me take you to the HCP Packer registry, where by this time we should be getting the new version. Let me refresh. Yes, and now you see that the, our latest iteration is V8. Status is active. And if we uh, click on V8, it shows the build details, build time, uh, OS type. These are the tags we added. And also, what is the primary region for this? It shows that uh, US East. Okay, now let's go back uh, one step and go to our release channel. Suppose this is the V8 and we want to set it with our production release channel. And I have explained that how to create the release channel, what is the purpose for this release channel in my uh, earlier sessions. So you, you can go to that, uh, those tutorials and understand that what is the, how this release channels work. So here is our production release channel. Currently it is V7. So we just select it, click on manage, edit assigned iteration, and simply select from here v8 we have selected an updating channel okay so in our next session when i will show that how we will be using terraform cloud to pick up this particular image from hcp packer registry and install is basically so one once that image will be installed or it will create one uh, virtual machine, we will be able to open that Nginx in browser. Okay, we do not need to install anything because Nginx is already installed and packed in our build image. So once we just instantiate our image and create the uh, virtual machine, we will be able to access our Nginx.
and this is the architecture I will show in my next session for using Terraform Cloud with HCP Packer. Now I hope that you have understood how you can use HCP Packer with Ansible, what is the purpose for using Ansible, how we can use it with HCP Packer, how we can run or invoke the playbook of Ansible and after installation how we can clean the prerequisites from the build image. Thank you for your time. See you in our next session.